Okay, guys. I wanted to talk about this Andy Savage situation. So I've been up since about 4.20 this morning. Just couldn't sleep. Had some other stuff going on in my house. And I watched a Philip DeFranco where he's talking about this. And this guy... I, guys in the church, church, I'm speaking to the church here. Why do we give people positions where they're going to later on not qualify to be pastors? Why? <laughs> this guy should never have been a pastor to begin with. Okay. It never should have happened. I don't understand why he was a pastor. I don't understand how, how these guys could know that this was in this guy's past and then make him one anyway. Like, where does that come from? So, I had to dive into my Bible to make sure I was right. Because my, my first initial thing is, you have anything like that in your past? No. No. And the reason why I say that is in 1 Timothy, let's see, make sure I got this right, 3, 6, and 7, right? Where it talks about what a pastor is supposed to be, okay? And that says he must not be a recent convert, and he may, or he may become conceited and fall under the same condemnation as the devil. Furthermore, he must have a good reputation with outsiders so that he will not fall into disgrace and into the snare of the devil, if you have this kind of controversy in your past, verse 7, you will always and forever be disqualified for pastorship forever for the rest of your life. And I know for some people that sounds really harsh, but there's a reason for it. Like you cannot go around representing Christ in the way that pastors do and and be this guy who was like oh yeah before i did all this crazy sex stuff but but now i'm okay that's good you know what sin has consequences it, it doesn't it's not it's not a you're forgiven and so now you can do whatever you want also here on this earth it is not that i don't know where that comes from for from other christians sin has consequences and that includes your calling or your job may change. <laughs> and I don't know what it is. The church doesn't seem to want to recognize that. Uh, I don't know why that is. But there you go. Uh, a pastor is supposed to be upright, holy, respectable, above reproach at all times. All right? At all times. I, I don't... I don't understand. I just don't. I don't understand. <sighs> Excuse me. When you have things like this in your life, that means you can't do what you originally set out to do. Because sin has consequences. And people who are in these higher positions giving other people pastoral positions, you shouldn't be doing that. You're wrong for that. Don't, d don't do that. And... I don't understand the, 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 the standing ovation this guy got. Why, Christians, are we giving people standing ovations? Admit your sin. Do that. But don't clap for these people. Like, if I were to admit I stole something, no one would give me a standing ovation for that. That is so weird. That is so weird. Like, I don't even get that at all. So this is just really breaking my heart because this guy doing this and these el these elders or these these le this leadership putting this guy in this position, all of this stuff makes you know makes someone I love Jesus Christ look horrible, makes him look horrible. And that's part of the reason why you're supposed to be above reproach. This, this stuff is crazy. I don't know what's going on with the church nowadays, but it seems like we're given these, these guidelines in the Bible and the church doesn't want to follow them. And we need to. We need to. I'm calling them out on it. It's crazy. It's stupid. You have, you know what you're supposed to do. You have what you're supposed to do. Let's do that instead of 
saying, oh, well, you're forgiven. Yeah, you know what? You are forgiven. You're not going to hell. But that doesn't mean you don't have consequences in the here and now. I mean, that's insane to think that. I don't understand why this guy didn't go to jail. What were the parents thinking? I mean, as a parent, I would have, you know, made sure some charges were against him. I mean, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Just because someone is part of the church doesn't mean they don't go to jail, like, especially for this kind of stuff. There's so much I don't get about the church and what's going on in this situation because none of it's biblical. It's not biblical to give this guy a position. It wasn't biblical for him to not go to jail. It's, it was not biblical for any of this to happen. So I don't know. I just want you to know. I mean, for me as a Christian, this doesn't make any sense. This guy should have gone to jail. This guy should have never had a position. And I sincerely hope in the future he never gets one again. I hope that this one that he doesn't get to keep his. This isn't a complicated situation. He did very, very wrong when he was young. And that's why, you know, you can't be pastors, you can't be these things unless you have a very clear, very upright background. That's why most people can't be pastors. I think most of the pastors out here who are pastors shouldn't be. <laughs> If you go by biblical mandate, if you go by what we're supposed to be using, I don't know, guys, what do you think? Just let me know. You can at me if you don't want to talk here on Twitter, or if you're watching this on YouTube, you can put it down, put your opinion down there in the comments. I'd love to hear it, but I'm tired of this, guys. I'm tired of this. There is clear, clear biblical mandate about how we're supposed to have leadership what leadership is supposed to be doing and not anything else and not anything more. And it's really, you know, I'm a Christian, so I love Jesus Christ and I love the church and it is, it is killing me these things. So I don't know. I'm tired. Like I said, I've been up since four o'clock this morning, kind of thinking about this. I had some other stuff going on. So I'm going to sign off, try and get some rest, or maybe I'll just get some coffee and just, Let's do about this a little bit more because this kind of stuff drives me nuts. There's no reason for it to happen. So anyway, that's all I want to say today, guys. That's what I'm going to talk about. This is my live stream. So until tomorrow, I'll see you guys later. Bye.